Hi friends, welcome to the part 23rd of this tutorial series. So till now we have seen how we can uh, display the available comments from the database in the backend and I have uh, edited my code a little bit. So I have added this comment is approved field here to show true or false for the approved comments uh, column. And but we now we want to display this in the front front end okay so if you go back here when you, when you click the uh, read more button it should appear here in the comment section okay but right now we are not passing that to the controller okay so let me quickly close the admin routes and admin controller and open the default controller and default route okay so for a single route here uh, this is the single post so we are not populating anything so if I if you open the post model you'll notice it has got a comments array here okay but this is not populated for any of the fields any of the available posts okay, it's empty okay so in order to do that what I'll, I'll do I'll not create directly do it here I'll use the form that is available here in the front end to submit a comment okay and for that in order to use this uh, particular <coughs> form you need to create a route for that where the form will get submitted okay and I'll gonna I'm gonna use the same post route that I have with the uh, post method. So this is a single post uh, which is which I'm using here. So it's get single post. Uh, let me just name rename it. Get single post. I should change it here now for the po for the post method let's say default controller that submit comment here okay and it will be just below this submit comment request response so what I want I want the user to be able to submit comment only if he is logged in so that I can get the user details as well who is submitting the comment okay so I'll first check if my request.user object is present if it's present and I'll find the post that I'm getting from the uh, body okay so I, I'll, I'll do that in a moment and moment because we need to check the form as well okay and I'll create a new variable once I once the post is found and this will have my user the ID will be the user object ID from this request.user okay so this will store my uh, object ID of this user then it will have the uh, body okay comment body so let's quickly jump on to the form to the single post form that I have here somewhere now nope. uh, it should be <clears throat> under default single post so there is a form let's say this form here okay and this form goes nowhere as of now 
So we have to hook this up. So this form has got a couple of attributes. First one is the action attribute. And I want to send it to post, then the with the post dot ID URL, but the method should be post. Okay. And this text area will have a name of comment underscore body. Exact same name that I defined in my controller here. Okay, so now you see it's uh, able to recognize that field. The button will be submit button. Okay, and what I need is the post ID. Okay, also so that I can refer to that in the controller. So I'll cr create a new input with a hidden type. A and hidden a hidden input name of ID and the value will be my post.id okay it's so my post has got an ID uh, let me check if this has to be underscore ID because here is underscore ID so I'm assuming it's underscore ID. Let's let's check that. <clears throat> so once this is done, the form is hooked up. We'll go back here and say that once the post is found, okay, and <clears throat> the comment is created, I want to push that comment here okay in this in this array so push is a method for arrays okay it's an inbuilt method you can push and pop items so saved post so new comment dot save so the post is saved with that array now I have to save the comment in the comments array in, 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 in the comments collection if you just see here okay if that is not saved I will not be able to fetch that in the backend so saved comment and it will again give me a function let's close this so I'm gonna display a flash message here success message your comment was submitted for review okay and redirect the user to the post with the current id Let's see if it works with underscore ID or just with ID. So we saved post. Yes. Mm, let's see. I refresh single post here. single post not able to find that why Let's get single post hmm. okay I know why so it changed it changed it here single post fresh perfect so now if I leave a comment this is a test comment from front end hit submit something happened check my database 
nothing is wrong it's waiting for the local host come on okay uh, I know why because this is not a logged in user and we never defined the else statement what to do flash message error message login to comment login first to comment rest dot redirect to the login page okay so now if you if you go to the post and try to comment test hit submit you're not logged in it'll take you to this login page and as soon as you log in and then try to comment here this is a test comment from John Doe and submit hmm this comment is not defined let's check that so defined oh my, my model is not here comment comment model comment save restart and do login again okay go back from John summit okay the comment has been sub submitted for review and if you go back to admin okay so it says approve comment is false which is perfectly fine in the next section we'll see how we can display only the comments which are approved here okay uh, I think we can do it right now. Let's that that won't be too time consuming. If I go back to my single post, I only have to do a if statement here. So where I'm displaying the comments, this is a, a dummy dummy comment here. So let's let me let me let me remove the uh, I don't want to remove the entire thing. Okay, so. What I will do, I will run a for each loop here. Suppose dot comments if there are any comments and if a hash if sorry comment is proved is true then you do this right you this the user dot first name user dot last name and this will be the body that's it save it go back to your browser refresh there are no comments that are approved okay and if I just go back to the admin or let's say to the database comments I see this is false and if I change this to true Date and uh, fresh. So it's true now, and check the second post. Hmm, this should reflect here.
post.comments I think we are not sending the comments yet are we so for the default route we are not sending the comments so let's go you do that <clears throat> You want to populate the comments and the user, okay? So, and how how do I do that? Again, I have to use the populate function before that before I use the then. So, I you I'll use populate. So now, in order to uh, populate multiple multiple attributes or chain them we have to use it like this and define the model user model okay let's see if this uh, okay so now here I'll pass the comments as comments So post dot comments. Okay, let's see. Refresh. There you go. So this is registered by John Doe, and this is the first comment. And if I just go back here, second comment from John Doe. Submit. Oh, I'm not locked in. Go back here. I know this is getting a little longer but this is just to show you guys how to populate things and uh, display it in the front end second comment from John Doe submit so you see the comment is not immediately shown here it's submitted for review and you can see it's false here so we'll change this true and false uh, section here into a nice looking button Okay, in the next section so till then stay tuned and let me know if you have any suggestions and please don't forget to subscribe my channel so see you in the next video thank you bye bye